hi guys i welcome you all back to my channel i am aisha in today's video i will be showing you how to cut and sew this pleated curve sleeve thank you all for your support god bless you all if you are new to my channel kindly click on the subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be notified stay tuned to the end of the tutorial I have my material here with me this is the main material that i'm using and this is the one i will be using for the lining i will be using this to lining it and we'll be drafting it on this pattern paper first before placing it on the main fabric so let's start so the length i'm using is 10 inches i will measure the length of my sleeve so this is 10 inches here so this is 10 So this is it so now i'll come here i'll be coming down by six inches so this is six inches so i'll straighten this also and the round sleeve i'm using is 15 inches so you divide your round sleeve into two so i have seven and a half here this seven and a half i'll come here I will come down by four inches. This is four inches. So from this four inches, yeah. So this is the point, four inches. So from here, I will be giving it a curve head. From here, I will measure five and a half. So this is five and a half. So I will give it a curve head. You can see, so this is it. So at this four inches here, I will come inward by half inch. So this is half inch. So for our front part of the sleeve. So you can see. And here I'm making use of six inches for the round sleeve. So this is six inches. You can see. So I'll straighten. So this is our front part. And this is the back aspect. Now I'll come here. The sleeve we are about to cut did not get to the inner arm O, as in the armpits. So the sleeve did not get to the armpits. So I'll come here from here. I'll measure one and a half backward. So this is one and a half. You can see it. So from here, I'll give it curve shape to this point so you give it curve shape like this you can see it so you give it curve shape to this point like this so this is where our sleeves stop so now i'll be cutting it out this is what we have as our sleeve we will be making use of slash and spread method for us to get the pleats I'll come to this center point. From this center point here, I'll measure one and a half. So this is one and a half, you can see. So from this one and a half, so I'll shape it. I can just shape it this way. So I'll shape it like this. So you draw a straight line like this. So I'll come here, I'll measure one inch downward. So this is one inch. This is where my one inch stop. So from there, I'll draw it this way. You can see. Now we have one, two. We have two plates now. I will be having four plates on it. So I'll come downward again. So I'll come here. So I'll be coming down by one and a half here. So this is one and a half. So I'll shape it to hit again. You can see. So I'll measure another one and a half. So this is another one and a half. You can see. So from here, I'll shape it downward like this. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. 
you can see it's one two three four five six so you should number it so that you won't be confused when placing it on your main fabric so now before slashing it out i'll be using the lining so i'll pick my lining the one i will be using for lining so i'll pick it and i'll place this pattern on it when cutting it out you had half inch to hit at the side so you had your inches that you will use in joining it so the folding inches and the joining inches you had it to hit so i'll be placing it this way i'll be adding my half inch to hit at the side So we have it this way so now i will use my chalk so this point this line where this line stop you can see you use your chalk to indicate it you can one two three four five you can see it you can see where those lines stop you use your chalk to indicate so now i will remove it i will notch it you notch those place. And you notch this center also. So this is our center point, you can see. So that when placing our pleats, when placing our slash and spread, so we will know how to place our pleats. So this indicates where our pleats will be. You can see it. I will be cutting this out. Oh, you fold your fabric into two. You can see the way I fold my fabric. So you fold your fabric this way and you determine how you want your pleats, how wide you want your pleats. So I'll just place this here. So I'll place this here. So use your office pin to hold it down. So I'll place this here like this. You can see. So the next is four. So I'll come here. I'll be making use of three inches, three inches for the folding of the pleats. So come here. You place this here like this. You use your office pin to hold it down. So for this upper part, you can just use two inches. So I'll be using two inches here. This is what we have. So we can just shape it. So you can just use your chalk to shape it this way. And after this shock, I'll still need to add half inch to hit. So I'll be adding my half inch to hit. So this is it. Come here. That's it. So I will notch it here. So I will come to this point there. So this is where our plate will start from. So you use your chalk to chalk it this way. So you come to this line also, this one. And you come to this down one also. So you chalk it this way. So that we will know where, how we are going to place our plate. So you notch it at this point also. So you notch it. You pick this also, you notch it. This is what we have, so you can see it. So now I can easily remove my pattern. So I can remove my pattern now. So this is the 
one that will cut for the lining. So I will be placing the right aspect of this. We'll be facing the wrong aspect of this first. So I will need to join it at this down aspect first. So you pick it and join it at this down aspect. So you use it to fold it at the down aspect first. So after then we will be adding the pleats to it. I've stitched it together at the inner part. You can see it. After stitching, I notch it all around. So after notching, I top stitch on the lining. You can see it. So I top stitch on the lining on this. So now, and I've ironed it. You can see the shape. So I've ironed it. So now we'll be adding our pleats on it. You can see where I notch. So that's why you need to notch it. You can see I notch it at each side. So where we notch, we will start from the down aspect here. So I'll pick this side that I notch the two sides. So I'll place it on it like this. You can see. So you can just use your office pin to hold it down at the side. So this is the first one. So this, you pick this also, you can see, we will notch. So you pick it this way. So you pick this also, you can see. So you pick this. So this is it you can see it at the back aspect so now we need to place sewing on it around we'll follow this lining so i will place sewing on it around like this so let me do that so this is it i've stitched it all around so you can see it so this is it so now we need to trim out the excess So this is it. So this is the back side and this is the front side. You can see the difference. So you can see the difference. So this is the front part and this is the back part. Our advice when cutting yours, you can make it a bit wider, a bit wider than this. You can see so you can see that the design is not so when we place it, so it will still stand. You add it to your blouse. Or your gown so if we should place it on our sleeve you can see this is how it will form so place it like this you can see the shape so you can see so this is how it will form you can see it so if you find this video helpful kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question or suggestion you can drop it in the comment section below kindly subscribe to my channel and make sure it turns on your notification bell so that whenever i upload a new video you will be notified thanks for watching bye